Good morning. Thank you, Jehovah, for this beautiful day. Welcome back to Gigi's Garden. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, but I have been busy. Busy, busy, busy. And not being able to get out here in the garden was a bad thing for me. So, now that it's getting warm again, oh, but I don't even know how to work the fence. <laughs> now that it's getting warm again, I need to get out here because things are going awry. <laughs> The weeds are outrageous. And not only that, I have my four new plants, four new trees that I need to get planted. So I have, um, is it two plums? Yeah, I got two, two different plums and two different peaches. My, um, I, I was able to get out here Saturday and plant some onion top, onions that were growing but then the chickens <sighs> my happy little chicken family i have a couple who've been getting out and of course what did they do come out scratched up my onion bed i just fixed and <laughs> ate all my little carrots <laughs> that were growing in my raised bed here i was excited about um so i'm gonna have to go back through i have one two three four five five or six little carrots left growing so i'm gonna have to um go through and replant carrots but it's also about to get really hot so you know how's that gonna work out <laughs> so i'm just out here trying to weed the the or orchard area here so i can figure out where i'm going to put these last four trees plus i got a very 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 happy 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 surprise today while i was out here look at all these weeds this looked like i planted ground cover jehovah planted ground cover and now i'm fighting it but oh you know my adhd i got a happy surprise i planted one two three four five six seven eight pawpaw trees and out of the eight so far it looks like one that one's budding over here this one i don't know that one's not budding this one looks like it's trying to bud that one is budding that one has a leaf and my one over there far away has a leaf so five four out of the um you know four out of the eight so far and then i'll see how they do if the rest come up so if the rest wake up and start budding look at my pear tree still leaning it's me trying to fix it but it's still leaning so since this pear tree is doing so well now i may take it out of that pot and go ahead and put it in the ground when i um dig the holes for the rest of my um for the rest of my trees so oh, this is me weeding trying to get this place together one day is never enough it's never enough time <coughs> excuse me it's never enough time one day is never enough time and i have to work extra hard and extra long just so i can get this place decent enough so if I'm not able to get back out here, it won't get too overgrown. So I'm just, look how pretty this dirt is. This dirt is so pretty. This was my, originally my onion bed. And guys, you are so loud. This was originally my onion bed, but you know, the dogs had a, had their way with it. And so, I ended up just going on and putting my potted plants, my trees out here. And I'm thinking that I'm okay with having my orchard go from the fence all the way over here to our property line, which is right here in their bushes there. 
And my neighbor said he's gonna clear all that, them big bushes out of there. All them for Cynthia's and all those things out of there. And when he does, I'm gonna plant fruit trees in here. I'm just gonna talk to him about it. He's a very sweet guy, so I'm sure that he'll say okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plant me some fruit trees in there. So that. now I'm also having a dilemma because I wanted to try to make some medicine out of these milk, milk thistles, but they're in my way and I need to get them out of my way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig them up. They'll come back next year. <laughs> yes, they will. I started mulching my beds. Okay, that's a bird. Birds and kids, they all sound alike. Um, I started, <laughs> started mulching this bed so I could get started with my um, with my squash and my and my greens. I wanted to get my greens started. So I might put since all my little <laughs> since all my little plants and that and nothing did really well in here last year. I think this year they might do better. So what I'm gonna do is again remulch everything. I'm just gonna cover up all this leaves and things like that. This in here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover them up with some mulch out of the chicken run. That's that's where I got that. And I'm gonna get my greens in here and get them started. That's what I'm gonna do. So hopefully I'll be able to get I know, buddy. Hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of greens this year. And squash, I wanna get some squash. So what I was thinking about doing is planting my squash on the outside instead of on the inside. I planted my loofah on the inside last year and you, you guys remember it went all the way up across and started doubling back. So I'm thinking if I plant it, get this space cleared out right here on the back end and I can even put pots here and I can plant it in pots and that'll be that'll be better because it can grow up and over and it'll have enough room. Now that I know how to work loofah and I know that I can peel it green and all that, I'll be able to, it'll be better this year. I got a lot of loofah last year. Not a ton, but I got a lot, so. So I was excited about that. <sighs> Look at all this green that needs to be cleaned up. Cody was supposed to weed, uh, me and Cody, our relationship. Um, Cody was supposed to weed whack, but he, um, Ran out of string. So he'll be back to weed wet next week, I guess. I'll be getting a text saying, hey, I'm coming to cut your lawn. I'm like, okay. I'm going to tell him to get this garden weed whack. He don't even have to cut the front grass. Come and weed whack my garden so I can get this place um, together. <laughs> I wanted to see if my passion fruit came back. Because, you know, last year the passion fruit vine just grew up out of nowhere which I was so excited about. Oh, look at this. Look at, this is, it's ridiculous. Dead nettle, um, lemon balm, everything. I, it's crazy. So the passion fruit that I bought died, never came back. But the passion fruit that I planted um, over there that I got from my friend Trina, um, I'm not sure if it'll come back or not. So I'm... Um, not sure i'm not super sure if i want to try to do passion fruit again i might see if i can get one from trina some more from trina and see if i can try it again that way but i need to do something because i want i like i like all this different stuff i like this stuff that's native here in north carolina and it just <laughs> grows really well it's awesome but I'm going to go ahead and get this bed taken care of because if I can get my trees in the ground today, that will be 1,000% a blessing. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And what I'll do is I'll make another video 
showing you guys everything that I've accomplished. And I also, I also need to get all this stuff. I want to get this. I got to get some string and some sticks. And again, with me and this, me and this pear tree. <laughs> I don't know how to make it stop leaning. So, I'm just going to have to tie it up little by little. Little by little. So, it's going to stop leaning. And my whole pecan tree done died. The whole, the whole pecan tree is dead. Just, just dead. It's, it's just dead. I didn't want to, I didn't want to pull it up. But, like, it, the, the bark is breaking off and then, I scratched it and it's it's just dead. It's just dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. No, I'm sad, but I'll let him go. And I'll see if I can acquire a new one. And go ahead and um and replant it. But I can use this pot, so which is cool. I can use this pot for my one one of my trees. So I might not have to dig so many holes. <laughs> but I'm about to get started. I'm just looking at, I love spring. Spring is my absolute favorite time of year. And I love how new things just pop up in my garden. Hush. They don't care nothing about your business. Look at this. Isn't this the prettiest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> and... Of course, I did look it up and I don't remember what it is. But that's here. It, it popped up um, before, this, before the really hard frost and then it died. So I didn't think it was going to come back. So it's, it's that. So I like it. I, and it's supposed to, it grows a pretty flower. So I'm going to leave it because I like pretty flowers. My cone flowers are back. The mint is already taken over. Look, something that moved in. Something that moved in. See that? Probably my frog. But he don't know. He's gonna have to get up out of here. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm I'm actually gonna just pull up a bunch of this mint, take it in the house and dry it. Cause I'm trying to trying to keep it just over here. And uh of course my dahlias died. So I'm gonna um redo some more dahlias. The dahlias just they were just absolutely beautiful in this bed and um last year so i'm gonna redo the dahlias my pineapple sage over there is coming back i thought it was gone because that frost killed all the flowers and it didn't get the seed but it came back of course that old um rosemary it ain't going nowhere got a new one two three four blueberries and i looked ah, sorry mosquitoes and i looked over there's a little blueberry um, bush that, that died on me last year. It's coming back. So I'm excited about that. Win-win. I got a bunch of ones this year already. Not only that. Look at this. Potato. It made it. There's another one coming up. There's two or three of them over here coming up. So <laughs> it's a win. Although I didn't want to put potatoes here again. They're already coming up, so I'm just going to leave this little area alone. Let them potatoes do what they got to do. Um, my beauty berries are coming back. I'm going to... Look at that. So beautiful. I am excited about that. I'm going to clean this bed up here sometime this week. I already started a little bit, but I'm going to clean this bed up and decide exactly what I'm going to put in here. I did sunflowers, zinnias, the beauty berries last year, but that's where the that's where the beauty berries are gonna live. They're gonna live here forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and remulch that. Um, potatoes were here. My okra, I had a couple okra in, in this main bed, but my mullen was in there, and now my mullen hasn't come back. And this is mullen season, so I don't know where it went. So it's gone. It's gone for good. So. And I believe I have some mullein seeds in that box in there with the ton of seeds that I have. So I might just go ahead and find that and plant me some mullein too. 
Hopefully my elder bear. Oh my goodness. If these bugs don't stop biting me, for real. <laughs> Hopefully my elderberries come back. Okay. All right. Hopefully my elderberries come back. Um up in the back of the yard. These ones, all the elderberries that I chopped down last year are coming back. The one that was in the pot, I actually planted over here by my old um, compost pile. And I got a bunch of little oak trees that I'm going to destroy. But <laughs> look at that. Looking good, looking good, elderberry. And it'll spread all through here. Hopefully, if I can get it to spread all through here, I can, we can stop with all these oak trees and things like that. Maybe they'll drown them out. So, got my little poison oak growing up the, there. So, I don't know. I'm just, look, I'm just looking at all the work I have to do. And I am about to get started. So, I'm about to go in the house and find me some gloves. So, you guys, I'll give you another update about this garden why this i got i mean there's oak trees going everywhere this year. i didn't have this problem last year look at that they're just everywhere i can't have you growing there beautiful <laughs> you can't grow right there put you over there in that pile i'm actually going to have i got the big old pile of cardboard and things breaking down over here and i'm going to get me a load of dirt and i'm just going to dump the dirt on top of it and let it crunch down <laughs> That's what, that's what it's going to do. I'm going to do what it do. And I'm going to make a whole nother bed. There's, this what, see, I'm growing my own bugs. I'm growing my own mosquitoes. So I got to walk around here and dump out all these pots that I got. Because, and, and wonder why I'm getting bit up like something crazy. Because I'm growing my own. Yay, look at this. They're starting to... Look at these onions. Look at that. Can you see awesome so of course you know I, I i plant all the onions that are that are growing up so that i can get seeds onion seeds and i'm just gonna collect all the onion seeds and shoo, i'm gonna have a ton of onions next year hopefully look at my little chives they already go in the seed nice <laughs> and my greens are bolting now i picked some i picked a bunch of these the other day let me see where i where i broke them off and picked them and i and i sauteed them up with some onions and garlic girl they was delicious so i got some duck red, red vein sorrel it's just everything's coming up everywhere i don't understand or know why got some more greens coming up <laughs> i don't know if they were the greens that i caught myself trying to sprout and then put them in there so those are coming up. I need to clean this whole bed, remulch it, and go ahead and plant the rest of my greens. So I think I'm going to buy some sets. And like I did, these were sets. And I think I'm going to plant some, just plant this whole bed out with sets. And go ahead and get it going. Go ahead and get it going. If I can get these kids to behave. I'll have them out here in the garden with me helping. <laughs> but you know, you know, we all know how that's gonna work out. But we still we'll still try. Alright. Well, of course my onions and garlics. When I planted when it was cold. Coming up. Look at that. They're coming. I'm I'm about to bring my spinach back out here and put it back in this corner where it was because that perpetual spinach did amazing right here so i'm just gonna remulch this and put it right back here because i it, it overwintered it overwintered well and i'm thinking about how i can overwinter more of it next year so i'm gonna work on it of course my onions that i planted and the chicken got in here <laughs> Of course, the chicken got in here and scraped all that up, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> they ate all my carrots out of this bed. I got one carrot that lasted all year long. It's just coming, and these are radishes that 
that I planted that never came up, but they came up this spring. So I'm excited about that. All right, well, not a whole lot going on in the garden. More work than anything, but I'm excited about being able to do it today and be able to get some of these trees together. Ah, these bugs don't leave me alone. I'm telling you, but that's what we're doing. Just cleaning up. Today is just cleanup day. And then we're gonna see if we can get get these peach trees and plum trees in the ground. Figure out where I want to put them. All right, guys. You know what? Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I want you to have a wonderful day. Thank you, Jehovah, for this beautiful day and this time that we have together. And tomorrow marks a very, very special day. April 4th, after sundown, we will celebrate the memorial of Jesus Christ's death. Worldwide, it's going to be millions of people. Um, it's open to the public. Go to jw.org and, you know, just look it up and you'll be able to find a location near you. All right. Have a great day. Thank you again for joining me at Gigi's Garden.